ओम शांति थर्टियथ अप्रैल 2023 इंग्लिश अव्यक्त मुरली ओरिजिनल डेट 17th नवंबर 1994 एसेंस टू बिकम लॉस्ट इन हैविंग द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ एवरी वर्चू एंड पावर इज टू हैव द फॉर्च्यून ऑफ हैप्पीनेस टुडे बाप दादा द ओशन ऑफ लव इज सेलिब्रेटिंग अ मीटिंग विद हिज चिल्ड्रन who are embodiments of love the father has deep love for the children and the children also have deep love for the father this string of love pulls the children here and it also pulls the father here you children know how much happiness this godly love gives when you become absorbed in this love for even a second you forget all the many types of sorrow and you begin to swing in the swing of happiness you do experience this do you not bab dada is seeing that in terms of the outside world you souls are so ordinary and yet your fortune is so elevated throughout the entire cycle no dharmatma in brackets religious soul or mahatma in brackets great soul has received or can receive such fortune so you are extremely ordinary and yet extremely and greatly fortunate bab dada loves the ordinary souls why the father himself comes in an ordinary body he does not come in the body of a king or a queen he does not come in the body of a dharmatma or a mahatma he only comes in an ordinary body and the children that come are also ordinary even the multimillionaires of today are ordinary the ordinary children have a lot of feelings of faith and loving devotion in brackets bhavana and the father wants children with bhavana not those who are body conscious the greater they are they will not have that bhavana but will have more arrogance so the father has to give the fruit of their bhavana and it is the ordinary souls who have bhavana the famous and well known souls neither have the bhavana nor the time so the father is seeing how you are so ordinary and yet are attaining the elevated fruit of your bhavana this is why according to the drama to be ordinary at the confluence age is also a sign of fortune because it is at the confluence age that the bestower of fortune draws the line of elevated fortune and together with that he has also given you children the pen with which you can draw the line of your fortune have you received the pen do you know how to draw your line of fortune how long a line have you drawn you haven't drawn just any ordinary line have you you can create as much fortune as you want you have full freedom you all have full freedom whether you are new whether you are old whether you have done the one weeks course and just recognized the father the father still gives you your pen of fortune this is godly love what is the sign of love If someone gives you whatever you need in your life that is a sign of love so the sign of the father's love is that he fulfills whatever desires you have in your life you want peace and happiness do you not when you give something to one another you receive happiness from that do you not so the father doesn't only give you happiness but he makes you into treasure stores of happiness you are treasure stores of happiness are you not how much do you have do you have a full stock or only one or two rooms you have the treasure store just as the father is the ocean of happiness he is not a river or a pond he is the ocean so he makes you children masters of the treasure stores of happiness do you lack happiness do you lack any attainment you do not do you then do not say give me a little power baba has already given it 
there is no need for you to say give me some power the father has already given it you simply need to know the matter of how to use it and you have been given many different methods it is just that from time to time you do not use them and you are therefore not able to take benefit from them even though you do have them it is such great fortune and you have received it so easily did you make any effort you did not have to stand on one leg did you it is not that you are standing in the queue for a second glimpse you are sitting comfortably even sitting on the ground you are sitting on foam you are very comfortable and easily making your fortune elevated do you have this intoxication all of you say with intoxication that the bestower of fortune belongs to you since the bestower of fortune belongs to you to whom would he give the fortune to have made the bestower of fortune belong to you means to have attained a right to fortune those who have this intoxication constantly have the experience if fortune is not mine who else would it belong to because the bestower of fortune belongs to me do you have this much intoxication or does it sometimes increase and sometimes decrease the time of the confluence age is so short and the majority of you are all new you have received so little time however within this trauma the speciality of the confluence age is that whether you are old or new even new ones have been given a golden chance for claiming a number ahead do the new ones have this much enthusiasm or do you think no there are many who are ahead of us they have only just come no you have full freedom you can make as much progress as you want you simply need to pay attention to your practice some old ones become careless and then if you new ones don't become careless you can claim a number ahead you would then claim a number you wish to take it to you not not the first number but the first division father brahma has been fixed as the first number however many want to they can come in the first division so in which division will all of you come if everyone comes in the first then who would come in the second in which group will the mothers come will you come in the first very good we have to come there this determined faith guarantees your fortune i don't know if i will come there or not maybe as i progress further maya will come maya is also very clever never have such wasteful thoughts when the almighty authority is with you maya is a paper tiger in front of him therefore do not be afraid never have the thought i don't know become master knowledgeful as you continue to perform every action experiencing his company makes everything constantly easy and keeps you safe when you forget the company everything becomes difficult however the promise that all of you have made is that you will live together and go home together this is your promise is it not or will you live alone and return alone so increase your experience of this company you know that you have the company you accept it but what is the difference you know this you accept it but you do not move along according to it at the right time the force of maya makes you forget the course but is maya so powerful is she powerful or are you or is it that sometimes maya is powerful and sometimes you are powerful your weakness is maya it is nothing else your weakness becomes maya and comes in front of you just as a physical weakness comes to you in the form of an illness 
in the same way the weakness of the soul comes in front of you in the form of maya it is nothing else so do not become weak and maya will not then come your aim is to become conquerors of maya and conquerors of the world how many times have you become victorious countless and yet you become afraid when something new happens you say it was something new i did not know about it and i therefore became afraid however on the other hand you say that you have been victorious many times so why do you become afraid the father's love for you children is such that he wants each child to become an elevated soul and claim a right to a kingdom you do not wish to become one who has a right to become a subject to you so one who has a right to a kingdom is one who has conquered every physical organ if you do not gain victory over your physical organs and over your mind intellect and sanskars how would you rule over your subjects if you become such kings you will not be able to gain victory over yourselves then even the golden age would become the iron age therefore check whether your mind intellect and sanskars are under your control is your mind controlling you or are you controlling your mind when you complain and say i cannot stabilize my mind my mind is wandering is this being a conqueror of your mind today my mind is unhappy today my mind is being attracted to something else are these the thoughts of a victorious person how can those who are not able to gain victory over themselves gain victory over the world therefore check to what extent you have become conquerors of your physical organs and your minds if you wish to come in the first division you are able to attain your aim by having these qualifications bab dada saw that you children are maintaining a lot of zeal and enthusiasm you even like a life of knowledge you are still moving forward well when it comes to listening to and relating knowledge but whilst moving along what is the reason why some weakness comes the main reason is that whatever you say and whatever you hear you lack the experience of every virtue every power and every point of knowledge for instance how many times do you say to yourself or to others i am a soul you are a soul i am an embodiment of peace i am an embodiment of happiness how many times do you think this and say it to others too however whilst walking and moving around you lack the experience of soul consciousness of being an embodiment of knowledge an embodiment of love and an embodiment of peace your speaking and listening are greater than your experience and the greatest authority is experience become absorbed in that experience when you say embodiment of peace then you yourself and others should experience the peace within the form you speak of each virtue individually and each power individually but let those virtues and powers be experienced at a time of need some continue to say that they have to imbibe the power of tolerance and that it is good to be tolerant but they do not have that experience because of lacking that experience they are not able to attain as much as they want if every one of you were to be asked whether you are making as much effort as you should be making very few would answer yes you need to experience in your practical lives and actions as much as you receive do not experience this just in your thoughts but let yourselves and others too also experience the virtues and powers in your practical activity and actions you say that you are embodiments of knowledge 
so let that form be visible an embodiment is for all the time being an embodiment is not only sometimes if you look at someone who has a life without knowledge if someone has an angry nature then when anything happens that form is visible it does not remain hidden whether it is something small or large whatever the form of someone is it is visible you yourself experience it and others also experience it then what do you say he is an angry person his sanskars are those of anger therefore the sanskars are visible are they not in the same way let others experience your being an embodiment of knowledge an embodiment of peace and an embodiment of happiness to be an embodiment of all experiences is the sign of elevated effort so now increase your experience did you experience whatever you spoke about if you do not experience it the reason is that you do not pay attention to the matter you have been given the more you revise the knowledge virtues and powers the more easily you will be able to realize them because you do not revise it you lack the realization it is very good that you have heard it but as you walk and move around revise it people of the world say that karma is yoga they do not believe karma to be separate from yoga they consider karma to be yoga to have yoga with karma they consider this to be karma yoga however there has to be a balance between karma and yoga to remain busy in karma is not yoga whilst you are performing actions experience yoga when you get busy performing actions the actions become elevated and the yoga is then put to one side this is the carelessness that comes as you move along to experience yoga whilst performing actions is known as being a karma yogi the main thing is to become an embodiment of experience to become absorbed in the experience of each virtue to become an embodiment of all powers let all powers be visible in your form even now if someone has a special power what do you say of that person that that one is an embodiment of tolerance that the power to face is very much visible in that one it is because it is visible that you say this if you are able to see it in some and not in others or you are able to see it sometimes but not at all times it means that there is less attention let others experience every virtue every power and every point of knowledge from your form and that will only happen when you have this experience yourself if you yourself are experienced then others would automatically receive an experience from you and when you experience it you have so much happiness when you experience any virtue or power for even a second your happiness increases so much you would constantly experience the sparkling of happiness and the sparkle of having the fortune of happiness would be on your face so now increase this experience the matter for this is clear is it not acha all of you have the fortune of happiness but you have come to celebrate with special happiness so have all of you received happiness are all of you staying comfortably when the mind is at rest the body automatically receives rest this has to happen the more you expand your places the smaller they will become this is destined what can you do about it it is good you are able to have a rehearsal wherever you make us sit however you make us sit and wherever you make us sleep you are able to have a rehearsal of this it is good to sleep on the floor you become kings of the floor 
In the scriptures, the kings and queens of the floor are remembered very much. In brackets, Patrani and Patraja, queen and king who live very comfortably. You have become this very easily. Do you have any difficulties? Babdada and the instrument souls think that you should all live comfortably and if you are able to remain comfortable even when there are a lot of people, it is a matter of great happiness. Are you happy wherever you are staying? Do you not have any difficulties? Should we call more people? If a notice is sent out saying that anyone who wants to come can come, what would you have to do? You would have to do constant tapasya, eat the nourishment of happiness and have constant yoga, and then everyone can come. Would you do this? Would you not get tired? Would you not be hungry? Would you not eat for seven days? You would not get any food for seven days. Bhaptada does not wish to make you do this by force. You are easy yogis. Acha. This meeting with God is no small fortune. Only a few of you souls, a few out of multi-millions receive this elevated fortune of meeting God. Acha. You have met Baba now. In devotion you visit non-living images. Whereas here, the father meets you children in your living forms and also has a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. So, is this fortune a small thing? Even so, all of you are lucky. The speed of time is changing. You are at least sitting comfortably and listening to Baba. As you progress further, when there is expansion, this will change. Will it not? Even so, you are lucky because you have not come at the time when it will be too late. You have come at the time of being late. You are all of you happy. To the fortunate souls everywhere who belong to the most elevated bestower of fortune, to those who constantly maintain the faith and intoxication of being conquerors of their minds and conquerors of the world, to the experienced souls who experience every virtue, power and point of knowledge, to the souls in the combined form who constantly keep the Father with them, to those who easily draw their lines of elevated fortune, to such extremely close and elevated souls, Bhaptada's love, remembrance and namaste. We such spiritual children extend our love, remembrance, say good morning, namaste and many many thanks to spiritual Bhaptada. Blessing. May you be an image of easy success by serving simultaneously with your words and thoughts. Explanation. As well as serving with your words, to serve with your thought power too is the final powerful service. When you serve with the combined form of serving with thoughts and with words, there will be easy success and you will receive double the result. There are a few who serve with words, but let all the others who take care of everything and who are engaged in other work serve with their minds. By you doing this, the atmosphere will become yogyukt. Let each one of you understand, I have to serve. By you doing this, the atmosphere will become powerful and double service will take place. Slogan Remain constantly seated on the seat of a constant and stable stage and you will remain unshakable and immovable. Om Shanti